welcome to today's Gale Force Twins episode where we are going to be answering the question, is ceramic coating worth it? Today, we are with g -Tech Nick Marine in Pompano at Boathouse Marine Center getting our boat ceramic coated with g -Tech Nick. We are so excited and we are going to answer that question. Obviously, we think we already have the answer because we're Our doing it. Our opinion is yes, because we're getting it done. But instead of spending this video trying to convince you all of our opinion, we are just gonna take you with us along the process and you can decide for yourselves. Now, if you are interested in getting ceramic coat on your boat, details in the description box. My name's Amanda. My name is Emily and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Is brought to you by G Technic Marine. The first step to getting our ceramic coating on our boat is to obviously clean the boat to the nth degree. So the very first step is they are going to clean the hole and the inside of the boat. And by cleaning the hole, what I mean what they're going to do is they're going to take a literal flashlight up to the hole of the boat and they're going to look for any water stains or calcium buildup. And they're going to use a mild acid wash to remove that. Then they're going to rinse the acid off and then they're going to soak the boat. And then for the inside, what they're going to do is they're going to pressure wash the boat, especially because it's non-skid, and remove any dirt or anything that's between the cracks in the non-skid and make it a nice and clean surface. Here I have my flashlight, and what they're doing is, I don't know if you guys can see, but we are looking for water stains, and you can really clearly see them, and calcium deposits. So that's what we're going to be looking for. I can definitely see water stains and calcium deposits. You're going to get a lot of that on the hull of the boat because of the bow flare. It makes it harder for us to go in and clean the boat and soak the boat every time after fishing, which is why it's really important to check the boat before you do the ceramic coating and clean it and do that mild acid wash on the hull to remove any of what could be here that we've missed through our six months of or more running this boat and not being able to perfectly clean it all the time. Now on the inside of the boat, we are going to start with the panel wipe and then pressure wash. There's a lot of Kona's footprints on this boat, especially on the non-skid, so we have to clean that off first. I see puppy footprints, and Emily put the panel wipe on the microfiber, and we are just cleaning those up. So that already looks fantastic before the pressure wash step. Emily, why don't you go up here and clean some of these too? There are my dirty shoes right there. <laughs> so you can see how, wow, I mean, that is, that's really impressive. What do you think, Emily? That is very impressive. I am excited to have this boat fully coated. It is time for step two, which is essentially polishing. So we're gonna polish the outside and all the smooth areas on the inside of the boat. Now I've never polished before, and I'm going to polish for my first time with a little bit of help. Yes, so we're going to do our correction step. And this correction step will uh, really get rid of a lot of the minor scratches and, and get a lot of the oxidation that may be on the vessel, off the vessel, so we can go ahead and coat it with our ceramics. So okay. we're gonna go ahead and take a polisher here. All right, we're only right. doing one drop. All right, wait, let's oh, check out how small this is. All right, I know it's already oh, it's too, too much. Yeah, it's too, too much. much. Hold on, hold on. Hold See, on, we're I learning, gotta, we're learning. I gotta, I gotta redo this. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna redo this. That's still, that's perfect. That's All right, fine. all right, okay. less so. Am I gonna do the same area, like right here? You can here? do whichever area you would like. If you wanna move forward, if you wanna do this area, so the trigger's where right do, here. Where does my right hand go? Is uh, this my right left hand? Perfect. Okay. Oh, there we go. All right, so <laughs> six go. pads, right? Can I go up and down Correct. first? Absolutely. All right, and so then over 50% at a time. Yes. Fantastic. And we go up again. You're a natural, Amanda. Yeah, it's not too bad. Maybe one more. And then we're going to go horizontal. Down. Is it hard? No, not really, but your arms can definitely get tired after a lot of this, for sure. All right, how did I do? Fantastic. <laughs> did that, I push, was, that was great. Did I push hard enough? That was, it's perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. The professionals I will, a thing. will step They're going to go back yeah. over and fix it. <laughs> Okay. 
it is officially time for step three, which is finally the ceramic coat. Now, to prep the ceramic coat, because realistically, this whole process is probably like 20 steps, and we're just breaking it down into three big chunks for you all. But the first step of the ceramic coat is the panel wipe, which we used earlier. So really simple and straightforward. We spray it onto a microfiber and clean that surface. Exactly. So this was actually the very first step ever that they did, right, Emily? It, yes, it was the very first step. This is what we used to get Kona's dirty paw prints off and any stains that were on the boat. Right, so now we're doing this after having the buffing and polishing. And then, Emily, what is the next step for ceramic? The next step is the actual ceramic base coat. I will demonstrate for you all how we do the base coat, but of course, this is just for demonstration purposes. I recommend you definitely get a professional to do this. They're gonna go back over everything that I do because it needs to be done by a professional in order to get that guarantee. Very straightforward and you don't need a lot of product. We're just gonna make one line. Perfect, just, just like, like that. that. Now we have a bit of a four step system. Step one is going to be to wipe it on. I'm gonna do it in a bit of a square shape. Step two is light pressure, wipe it off. It doesn't actually come all the way off. The first wipe is about 50% removal of product. Then step two, step, step three, step three there's a second rag. Wipe again with a second rag. And step four is a third rag. And this is where we're gonna buff. Now between the base coat and the top coat, we wait around 12 hours, but again, demonstration purposes. So it's the exact same process, just with a top coat. So one line, Perfect, just, like, just that. like that. And Emily, make your rectangle. I'm gonna make my rectangle. Yep. Or my square. And then you fill it in. Fill it in. Perfect. And we're gonna go to the three-step rag system. So one rag, light pressure, and the number one rag remains the number one rag. Then we have our number two rag. Same thing, just wipe. Lastly, our number three rag, which is the fourth step in this whole process, is where we actually get in there and we buff the product. We are now going to get out of the way, let the professionals come in, finish the coating. We'll see you all in the water to show you exactly what G-Technic has done for us. And we'll also show you our maintenance plan. Our boat is back in the water. The gale force is looking absolutely amazing. The water is beating on the deck as we speak because it rained this morning and we are just so excited to go over our maintenance plan. Our most used everyday piece of maintenance is going to be the UV wash. So we're gonna be using this every day when we come back from a long day of fishing or the sandbar, or whatever it is. And what the UV wash is gonna do is it's gonna remove any dirt, but what it's really gonna do, which is what really matters, is it's gonna protect the ceramic coat and the boat from the sun. So this is what we're gonna be using every day, all the time. It's gonna be replacing our boat soap. You can use it on the deck, you can use it on the upholstery, you can use it over the whole boat, you don't have to worry about where it touches, and this is gonna be our everyday product. Now, if for some reason we did have some fish blood that stays on the deck after a long day of fishing, after we've used the UV wash, or even before, we can go ahead and throw the interior cleaner on that. That's just gonna help lift anything that's really stuck on the deck, if it is, but everything should be rinsing off nice and easily, so this will just be used after the UV wash. Now the fish boxes are probably gonna get the absolute dirtiest, so for that, every three months or so, we can go ahead and apply the rinse on ceramic to help maintain that ceramic coat in the fish boxes because they're probably gonna be seeing the most amount of interior cleaner and the most amount of soap and scrubbing will be happening in those fish boxes because that's how dirty they get. So every three months, we can go ahead and do a little DIY rinse on ceramic. Also, every three to four months, we can apply the fabric coat to our upholstery and the glass cleaner to our eyes and glass to help maintain that ceramic coat and keep everything looking nice and fresh. Our last maintenance product is gonna be the ceramic fast coat, which is basically just a ceramic top coat that we can DIY ourselves. We can do it as often as every two months or every six months, depending on how much we're cleaning the boat and how dirty it's getting. But the ceramic fast coat is basically just a DIY maintenance product that we can use between professional ceramic coatings. Is a ceramic coat worth it? I'm gonna go ahead and just say absolutely we've already gotten the boat dirty we've already been fishing and it is cleaning much easier so it is so nice to have the boat ceramic coated cleaning it has been easier the stains have removed quicker if you're interested in getting your boat ceramic coated i'm going to go ahead and put all the details in the description box for how and where to get your boat coated and all the information about all of the maintenance we are going to be doing to this boat you may have already seen part of our maintenance journey is on instagram and facebook so be sure to follow along there in the meantime we want you to get out there have fun and stay safe three five my Good name day. is Emily. My name is Amanda. And wake up, Paul. Okay.
We're recording. Okay, like this. I can switch my hair. Yeah. We're recording. Well, actually, what? We're this recording. Good? Yeah. Hey, my phone. But we recommend a professional do this. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> well, the least we can do is just try. Ready when you are. All right, this might take me a few shots. Okay. okay. If Ready? you feel like doing an intro would help you do an intro, but. Very basic and straightforward. Well, let me put this down. Cool. I like that yeah. one. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the yoga school. Today, we have ceramic coating going on our booth. All right. Cool. Space we take up. I'm, I'm, how do I say that? Just, should I just wipe on? So keep it nice and soft. <laughs> That's a blooper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know what to say. What is the plan? Eight to 12 hours? What 12, 12. 12. Okay. Hi, my name is Emily. Or no, hi. Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel, Gale Force Twins. Wait till, but yes. don't spray until I tell you to spray. Okay. Um, all right. And they're gonna look for calcium buildup and any deposits. Amazon. Amazon problems. They're cheap, they're from Amazon.